Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf. And we are here with Lightfall who's currently, I think about midway through the month he has to survive. And um, who is currently trying to, uh, well he has been evading people, there were some humans nearby and then is this, this is Cephas, yeah. Cephas is one of the wolves he's been traveling with, so he, Lightfall has been trying to evade humans quite a bit because unfortunately earlier on in the series he ended up killing a few cows and that got him into a bit of trouble. How is his food and water doing? We need a little bit of water. Let's go back down towards the den because I think there's water right outside there. Uh, but yeah, that's gotten him into a little bit of trouble with the humans and uh, they have been starting to hunt him down a bit here. And that's not such a not such a good situation. <laughs> uh, he's been evading them as best he can, but he already ran into an airplane yesterday, and uh, hopefully that is not a sign of more ominous things to come. Maybe we'll head this way because I think the human was back in the other direction and try and take down some of this caribou. And um, with the caribou, they have we've had pretty good success with them. That is a stump. I thought that was another wolf for half a second there. Uh, but no, it is just a stump. And, um... But yeah, we've had pretty good success with the caribou lately. And because these guys are just passing through, even though the game's not really representing that, um... Basically, they're not as careful about overhunting, uh, because a lot of the time they... Oh, there is the caribou. Because you can overhunt in this game, but they're not going to be staying here long. Let's see how strong is it. Oh, it's pretty strong. I don't know. We'll have to see if we can run it down. Okay, it's gonna keep running. We'll let it run. Are we hungry? There is a carcass here we could stop and eat from, but I think we're gonna try and kill this caribou. So let's see, how's our health? Our health is all right. It seems like it is a stronger. Are we leaving the territory again? We are. Oh, yeah, I think we should be able to, um, to deal with it. Oh, what is that? I don't really want to mess with that because a lot of the time those, uh, that meaning the weird grassy patch on the bottom, a lot of the time those can be traps set by hunters and if you get caught in one at the wrong time, it can kill you. So are we able to catch up? Yes. Are we able to take it down? Because I think we do get stronger with time. Yes, we got it! Barely, but we got it. <laughs> All right. And I don't think he took too much damage from that, so that's a good thing. But we do want to be careful with going this way. Open oh, it's morning as well. So the colors of the wolf's fur can make it hard to see in its natural habitat. The colors of the fur may blend in with the background colors in the habitat and cause a wolf to disappear. Wolves that spend a lot of time in dark forests often have dark fur. In places where plants are many colors, the fur of the wolves is often many different colors. That's what I've been talking about with adaptation, about how uh, some species will adapt to their environments. And so, like if you have a wolf in the tundra, you might have tend to have more wolves that have white fur or if you have a wolf in a shadowy forest they might tend to have dark fur or like this said if there's a lot of different colors of vegetation you might have a wolf with a multicolored fur obviously within a certain amount of a reason but nevertheless you're going to see some variation even though they're the same species We've talked a lot about adaptation on this channel especially because of our niche series because that deals heavily with adaptation. Uh, but basically adaptation is the fact that uh, a species may uh, have different traits in different regions to compensate for different environmental conditions. So that's also why you'll see if you look at the difference between a wolf in the Arctic and a wolf from like a, a, a warmer climate, you'll see that the Arctic wolf is going to be a lot bigger, it's going to have a lot thicker fur, it's going to have smaller ears, a lot of different traits that'll help it conserve heat. Whereas the more, more wolf in a warmer climate is probably going to be trying to get rid of more heat so it doesn't overheat. And it'll have larger ears, thinner coat, leaner body, etc. Uh, that's just adaptation is uh, minor variations within a species uh, that enable it to survive better in different environments. Let's head down to the south here and see, because this is the moose we were tracking the other day, but I think 
it's gone away from the human. There was a human that scared us off the hunt. Oh, who is this? Is this you again, Cephas, or is this Drift Howl? Uh, this is Cephas. So Cephas is an older wolf who... Oh, no, apparently it hasn't gone away from the human. Cephas is an older wolf who uh, is the last survivor of his pack along with his daughter, Drift Howl. And uh, Cephas and Drift Howl are kind of trying to get uh, Lightfall and Drift Howl together. <laughs> but, um... Lightfall is more interested in finding his former brother-in-law, Lucan, who left after Lightfall's sister, Cloudsong, Lucan's mate, suddenly died. And so Lightfall is still trying to track him down and see, why are we still heading towards the human? I don't like this so much. Um, let's, let's bark. It's not going to do anything, unfortunately. Apparently we're not close enough. Uh, but yeah, basically... What it is, is it's, um, he's more interested in, what did you smell? Where are you going? Why are you still going downward? I'm not sure I like this idea. We're well, getting scarily close to a human. <laughs> um, and we're still going downwards. Okay, the human's away from us now. But yeah, so Lucan is, or Lightfall is currently following Lucan. Oh, maybe he's hunting the caribou. Maybe we'll sit, get to watch him hunt the caribou. Um, but Lightfall is following Lucan, who's actually headed back to Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Lucan is the son of Katari and Terrell, our founding pair in our Wolf Quest series. And he actually came out to the world of Wolf to kind of get away from the existing packs in Yellowstone and kind of find a, find his own path, but he's now returning to Yellowstone after his mate, Lightfall's sister Cloudsong, suddenly died. And uh, currently, Lightfall is traveling. If Lightfall survives this month, then we're going to say he made it safely back to Yellowstone, uh, but what he will do there is yet to be seen. A lot of you guys are saying you do want to see him settle down with Drift Howl. And uh, that's a possibility. I mean, if he gets comfortable enough here, maybe he would stay here and not go back all the way back to Yellowstone. But if he doesn't, then perhaps either they would come with him. You never know. Did we just enter someone else's territory? No, I think we entered our own territory. Uh, but as of right now, he is still traveling. Why is there a human? Why are there so many humans so close to our den? I don't like this. Is it- it's nightfall, okay. Yes, it is nightfall. So we'll probably bed down for a while and try and sleep through part of the night at least. As darkness falls here. There we go. We'll, we'll try to get back closer to the den. We'll probably will try to get to the den. And settle down near there because that has seemed to be a fairly safe place and it's near food and water, and we do need a drink. The last thing we want is to suddenly run out of water in the middle of the night or something like that. Uh, because if Lightfall's story ends, then that's it. He doesn't get a second chance. He doesn't get to come back to life or anything like that. He's just gone, and his story will end here. So we want to make sure that he stays alive, even if he can be a little bit of a reckless one at times. Uh, we still want to be pretty careful. Is he gonna settle down? There we go. We will let him sleep for a bit, but maybe not too long because I want to see the change of the night. Well, maybe we'll sleep after the, it gets to be the middle of the night because uh, once it gets to be the middle of the night, why are they running? Uh, but yeah, once it gets to be the middle of the night, then... Uh, these guys, like, that's when we see, oh, yes, it is the change of the, it is the change of the moon, isn't it? Yes, now it is the half moon, so once it gets back to, I think, the full moon, that will be when that month ends, so we are almost there. Uh, we've done, he's done really well, so now that that's happened, we can go ahead and go sleep for the rest of the night. But yeah, so he's done really well, and I think that means he's three quarters of the way through his month now. Uh, he's done remarkably, honestly. 
So let's uh, sit down and then lay down. Yes. And we'll spend the night here. He's not too hungry or thirsty or anything. And this just speeds up time, basically. And uh, lets it all go by a little bit faster. There we go. And Dawn should arrive shortly. I think it's sleeping only works at night, though. So it's nice to sometimes try and pass the night that way. And you can see his hunger and his food do drain dramatically during that. So let's see. We've got a carcass somewhere off this way. That's... That human's scarily close to where I saw the others heading. Hopefully nothing happens. Yeah, hopefully nothing happens to them. We will see. But a lot of you guys are saying you'd actually like to see Lightfall and Drift Howl settle down together, and we'll have to see. Uh, they are both, uh, Drift Howl and Cephas, that is, are both wanderers at the moment. Their pack was destroyed right as Drift Howl was about to disperse. Um, and so Cephas, oops, I didn't mean to howl. Cephas just kind of came with her when she dispersed. Why is there a wolf up here? We'll check out that wolf in a little bit because I think that might be a loner nearby. Maybe we'll go interact with it. Hopefully it's not a pack wolf, <laughs> because that has happened before, and, uh-oh. Uh it might be a pack wolf. Maybe we'll try for this beaver. The last thing we want is to get caught in another pack's territory again. Uh, that's already happened once, and we don't need it to happen again. There we go. Can we get it? Hopefully we can get it. Are we close enough? Yes. There we go. That should uh, satisfy our hunger a bit. And then, I don't know if this is another territory or not. Maybe we'll head up north and just see. Because there is another wolf. If it looks like it's pack territory, we'll leave it alone. But I think it may be a loner. Maybe. I'm not sure. We will see. Oh, Lightfall, hopefully your curiosity is not the death of you. It's up here. Um, there's a beaver. Okay, the wolf is down here now. I don't see... It's directly below us. Apparently. Yes, who is this? This is Muslad. It's a male wolf. He's male. He's three years and eight months, and he is a loner. Okay. Uh, he's not in our territory. We'll leave him alone. Who are you? Oh, that's Cephas. Okay. Cephas came back. Alright. Let us head back this way. And, uh, I don't know if Drift Howl... She's still out there somewhere. But yeah, I don't know where she's off to. Do these guys actually use stamina? I think they do. I think they actually have a stamina system in place as well. That's interesting. And I don't really see anything out this way, so that must be Drift Howl down there, probably. And I'm not sure... Are we full now? Yes, but we're getting thirsty. Um, I'm not sure what happened to that thing we thought could be a trap. But we do want to be kind of careful of it, because I think even if we go near it, it could hurt us. And I'm trying to use the sight sense as well, because that's the only way you can see approaching planes. And, uh, helicopters as well. There are helicopters in this. Uh, so that you can also see there's some unidentified sense up ahead, because the wind is blowing from us to that direction. So the wind direction plays a part in things too. It's kind of interesting. back that way. Let's see if we can find her and see what she's up to. This is probably her over here. And then we'll head back to the den and uh, settle down for the night again. I think she's probably down here. Probably. <laughs> this is most likely her. Uh, she's booking it. Alright, maybe we won't catch up to her. I don't think we're going to catch up to her. And it's already night. 
So let's see if we can go sleep through the night, get a drink, and then sleep through the night. It's also raining, that's always nice, because that means you can, if, if we start getting puddles, then uh, you can get a drink pretty much anywhere. So hopefully she'll catch up again. I don't know where she's gotten off to. Uh, I always worry a little bit about them because we still never determined what it was that, that killed Cloud Song. We've been thinking it was probably some sort of illness that finally caught up to her. There's also a human nearby. That's a little disconcerting. And there's a beaver here. There's a beaver right here, but we're gonna sleep. Let's uh, sit and then lay down. And we will sleep through the night and hopefully that beaver will stick around. But we're gonna keep an eye on the human who's getting closer. That's concerning. But yes, we never determined what exactly killed Cloud Song, and so it always makes me a little nervous. Uh, not knowing with some of this some of these guys. So hopefully though that is a drift howl getting closer over there I'm keeping an eye on everything Okay, she's nearby. Well, I'm assuming that's her It seems to be her Most likely is she coming? Is she coming back? So humans getting closer too. I don't like that the human is, is roaming around and getting closer. What is this? It's just morning, right? Just morning. All right. There she is. Hello, are you okay? Yes, you're doing all right. That is good news. Are we hungry? We are hungry. Fortunately for us, there is a snack right here. And hopefully we can catch it. Yep, there we go. Nice little snack. And then let's not go any further that way because is that a human right there? No, it wasn't. But there is a human up in that direction. For a second I thought I almost saw one. But, yeah. And keep in mind, you guys, this game was created- there's two of them now. This game was created in an era where wolf hunting was a lot more common and uh, wolves were under a lot more threat from humans. Nowadays, and in Wolf Quest especially, because that takes place in a national park, it's not as bad. There's more understanding of that sort of thing. And I believe they're much more careful of regulating hunting of any sort, whether it be wolves or other animals. But uh, back then, when this game was created, it was a lot more of a problem, and uh, we didn't know as much about science and wildlife and such. Not. Let's head down towards this carcass. And there's that moose we were trying to get at one point, but never quite managed to because the human got in the way. <laughs> at least that human seems to be gone. There is, however, this carcass here, which is good to know. This way. Is that two moose? There's two moose now. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna keep heading downward for now. I don't know what it was trying to tell me that I was noticing there. Sometimes the senses pop up on their own in case you forget to use them, but I tend to rotate through them fairly fast, because that's the main way you can avoid getting yourself killed in this game. Uh, yeah. So there's a bison. Let's head down towards the bison and see if we can take out a bison, because I don't think we've ever killed a bison in this playthrough. Now, bison are very strong and very dangerous. Who is this we have following us, by the way? This is Cephas again. Cephas has been kind of trailing us around a little bit. Uh, but there is a bison down this way. And I don't think we've ever taken one of those out before, so it'd be kind of interesting to see. Uh, we'll head down in this way. And just see what comes of it. Hmm. I think it's past this carcass. but we're not so high on water. That's gonna be the biggest concern at this moment, I think, is water. Because we are a little ways away from any of it now. Um, and we're planning on going hunting, so there's several, it looks like. Which way is the wind blowing? There is no wind, okay. Let's 
let's go this way. I just want to see how strong they are. And possibly, for next time, we'll try to hunt one. Okay, down here, how strong? Oh, no, we didn't get to click one. No! No! We'll, we'll catch up here if we can. Okay, how strong are they? Oh, that one's actually not super strong. And how fast are they? This one's hurt, I think, possibly. Maybe we'll see if we can attack and kill it just right now. Come on. Oh, you're getting stuck on things. No. What if we attack it now? Oh, we're not gonna make it. No way, Jose. <laughs> oh, no way there. Alright. Definitely a lot stronger than it looked further away. Let's head off this way. I don't think he got too injured. And we'll start making our way back towards the den. But I think we're gonna wrap up here pretty much. And uh, maybe, are we able to... Yes, we can... We can- we should be able to skip- or no, we should be able to- yes, there's a fast travel, and we can fast travel to our den. <laughs> um, and I think that'll drain some strength, so it says, Wolves have incredibly good hearing and can hear sounds up to six miles away, including some high-pitched sounds that even a human can't hear in the range where bats and porpoises produce sound. Okay, and there he goes, running across the plains. And we're now back at the den, and it's the middle of the night, and we're a little hungry and pretty thirsty. So let's go ahead, get a drink, and then we will wrap up the episode here. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.